Hi, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed today. Wow. It will be next Wednesday or Thursday, maybe Wednesday, where we see the next stretch or next day of just beautiful sunshine with comfortable temperatures like we did today. I, I think uh, Troutdale hit 80 degrees. PDX is going to be 79 at least. Maybe when the final climate report comes out, it's 80. Looks like you folks down Salem stayed in the upper 70s, but what a gorgeous day. Okay. No changes to the weekend forecast, but I do have some updated graphics and uh, some graphics that hopefully will give you a good idea of how to plan your day on Sunday into Monday. So I said nothing has changed. We're still looking at basically a 24-hour steady rain soak that starts early Sunday morning and goes into early Monday morning. Then a front comes through and breaks it into showers with more rain at times during the day. And then another system bringing us additional rains on Tuesday. Still being fed by a strong jet stream. This is the latest water vapor imagery. I just grabbed it. And remember, we've been talking about how these elongated jet cores right in here basically are what fuel these elongated plumes of moisture and steer them consistently, almost like railroad tracks, right into the same area. And that's why you get these just elongated periods of time of solid rain. I mean, when I willingly use the term atmospheric river uh it's in the rainy season and we're talking two to three days of this with maybe three inches of rain in the valley and maybe five six seven eight inches of rain in the coast range and you have flooding concerns that's not the case this time yes it's an elongated push of moisture you can see it right here that's elongated just by you know geometric the geometric shape of it but it's a 24-hour event we're not going to get any flooding. Now, you might get some street ponding and some sloppiness because it's going to be raining steadily, moderately, uh, rain rate-wise, for about 24 hours. But other than that, no concerns. And really beneficial to a good part of Oregon and Washington. And with tomorrow being June, June 1st, any cool days, any wet days, just push fire season or hold fire season off a little bit more and a little bit more. So really, it's terrific, terrific news. Okay. A uh, quick word to thank my sponsor, the Momentous Wealth Podcast. Raise your hand if you've checked this out. If you haven't and you have some time this weekend, I hope you'll plug in and check it out. I've listened to three of them so far. Uh, he's got a whole library uh, under Momentous Wealth Podcast and Apple Podcasts and Spotify of different investment um, topics to educate you. Uh, if you're interested in what your 401k is doing, your mutual funds, that type of thing. Again, the Momentous Wealth Podcast, highly recommend it. Okay, let's get you going with some of these uh, refreshed graphics, I promise. Here's the water vapor imagery loop live right now that I just showed you. So we get cloudiness right here spilling in tonight into tomorrow. Maybe some traces of rain like we've been talking about, but otherwise Saturday's dry. And then right back in here is the leading edge of the rain that will be falling at the coast first thing Sunday morning and then quickly moving into the valley. I do have a flood watch issued up in uh, parts of Western Washington. This is the National Weather Service office in Seattle and Tacoma. And if you click on this, the dark green areas, including Seattle under a flood watch, they're saying Sunday morning through Wednesday morning. So again, there's some additional rains Tuesday in the Tuesday night. Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is possible. But basically they're talking about two inches of rain in the Washington Cascades and then an over an inch of rain in Seattle and the fact that you could be getting some sloppiness. I don't believe they're really projecting any rivers up there to flood either. You may remember they didn't get as much snow up in Washington this past winter as we did in Oregon. So if anything, Washington is in further need of moisture than we are here in Oregon. And overall, and they mentioned that in their dialogue, uh, the Seattle Tacoma Weather Office, this is beneficial rain. It's great news. Now, this is the European model. This is uh, courtesy of KGWTV. These are rain rates through the day, I'm sorry, total rain, total rain through the day Tuesday. About an inch and a half in Astoria, 1.78 in Tillamook, about an inch and a quarter in Kelso, over an inch in Portland, and then close to nine tenths in Salem and close to nine tenths in Eugene. There are the two inches in uh, the Mount Hood area and the two inches up in parts of the West uh, Washington Cascades as well. And then some additional rain amounts, 76 100s when you get through the blues out into Legrand. 33 100s in Baker City. Again, pretty widespread 
rain. And notice, manageable rainfall literally from the California border all the way up into the Canadian border. So this is great, great news. Can't stress that enough. Snow levels on center are going to be right about 8,000 feet. So that's all rain over the Cascade Pass. There's two inches plus. All rain at Timberline Lodge, two inches plus uh, up on Mount Hood. Okay, let's... Um, Let's see if I can get this to play. And let's see here. This again is courtesy of, uh, shoot. I'm having, uh, <laughs> uh, dog, dog on it. Um, trying to get rid of my uh, toolbar. Let me see if I can do it and get this to play. Okay, here we go. It is playing. Bam, this is courtesy of KGW TV. Here we are, Sunday morning, raining lightly at the coast, rain moving in to the valley, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, solid rain all day through 6.30, solid rain all night. Here's the front coming through early Monday morning. Did you notice at 6.30 Monday morning, the front is through and the steady rain has passed. Again, widespread rain, Canadian border, California border. There's the front pushing the rain, ending the steady rain early Monday morning. Now, here's the way it looks. Here's the way it looks on... The GFS model, the American model from the National Weather Service. This is their future radar product. Now, tomorrow morning, Saturday, notice some light rain up in the Cascades and the foothills of Washington. Little dab of rain, potentially Long Beach and Astoria. And there's at least a chance of some traceable amounts of rain up in Cowlitz County. And maybe there's a sprinkle at some point down into Portland. Uh, so that's what you're seeing. More than anything in the Willamette Valley, we're just expecting a lot of cloudiness tomorrow. The best chance of even the trace of rain being up north. Again, Astoria, Long Beach, Kelso, and then up into the Seattle area. But here we go. This is Sunday morning at uh, 5 a.m. Raining all of western Washington into Seattle. Now, this is earlier than that future cast I just showed you from KGW that showed rain moving in between 8 and 9 o'clock. This shows rain moving in to Portland, 5 a.m. So it depends on how late you sleep. <laughs> Here we are getting into the afternoon hours on Sunday. Again, widespread rain. The yellow is moderate to almost heavy rain rates at times up in uh, Washington. But absolutely through the gorge, absolutely out through the Columbia Basin, absolutely down to the Canadian, uh, to the uh, California border, pardon me. And then that continues all the way into Monday morning. Now, this... Here we go. This doesn't break up the rain as neatly as that future cast model did. So we'll see. But this is in the morning Monday. The steady rain generally moving east of the I-5 corridor. And then you've got, here's another chunk of rain coming through around midday on Monday. Again, a continuing chance of showers Monday night. There's actually a, another weather system. You can see it outlined right here that comes in Tuesday morning. So this is steady rain Tuesday morning up in Washington. And then more like showers or maybe a brief period of steady rain for an hour or two. Uh, here in Portland, but certainly the shower chances fade away. That's Tuesday night, and then we get into Wednesday, and we're pretty much done. So none of that's changed. That's just, I think I had better graphics today, but it's exactly the same messaging that I told you yesterday. All right, so uh, coming up on 6 o'clock, it is 88 degrees down in Medford. These are current temperatures. Let's run you through some forecast numbers, shall we? 80 tomorrow, 77 Sunday, a dry weekend. There's uh, 70, no, well, this shows dry on Sunday. I got to think there's at least a chance of some light moisture getting down to Medford and then the same thing on Monday. So we'll see. And then some dry weather and then heating up. Look at 90 Wednesday, 92 Thursday, 94 on Friday. Wow. Okay. Here's Bend 77 tomorrow, partly sunny 72. I think there will eventually be some rain move over into the Cascades on Sunday, uh, central Oregon over the Cascades 71. Monday, rain 65, and then drying out Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, let's run you up to Seattle, 70 degrees. Clouds, some light rain up there, 64 tomorrow. Certainly a rainy 59 degrees Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, and then drying out on Wednesday, and then 71 on Thursday and 75 next Friday. Uh, and again, you can go to my weather site, portlandweather.com, and click on any of these temperatures that you want. But you, you certainly get the idea of what the pattern is. And here's Portland seven-day. 71 tomorrow, a lot of clouds, maybe partly sunny at times. That chance of a sprinkle, especially north of Portland. Rainy day Sunday, rain to showers Monday, showers Tuesday. We talked about all that dry on Wednesday. Now, real quick before I let you go, the European model still goes nuts with heat. It still goes 90 in Portland on maybe as early as Thursday. 90 on Friday, 90 on ground floral parade Saturday. Now, the American GFS model is reflective of what I show you here. Dry on Wednesday, 79. Dry on Thursday, 86. Warming. 
83 on Friday. And then it actually brings in some rain showers on Saturday the 8th and on Sunday the 9th. So clearly those two models are still going this way. One's going sunny and hot, and the other one, believe it or not, is going, you know, um, is, is going, um, you know, actually some rain. So a bit crazy.